Welcome to the Kingdom Hairstylist Podcast. This is your host, Billy Jean. Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of a Kingdom Hairstylist Podcast. This is your host. My name is Billy Jean. I just want to welcome everybody back. Um, thank you to all of the new listeners that are tuning in. Um, thank you to everyone that has been downloading episodes. Um, I've been watching the numbers lately, and um, I'm growing as a podcast, and that's exciting. That's very exciting. Um, I had to tell myself in the beginning of doing this podcast that I wasn't going to be worried about, you know, the numbers and all of that kind of stuff, because a lot of times when we do that, we take our focus off of what God called us to do. And so I don't want to do this like um, it's me or like it's for me. It's really something that I'm being obedient to God about. And so I don't want to think that I'm doing all this in my own strength and, um, you know, just get too excited about the numbers. I just told myself that no matter who listened, I was going to pour out my heart and do the best that I can do. Um, I'm on a mission for God. So whatever he needs me to do, I'm going to do it. Um, No matter how silly it may make me look sometimes, a lot of people don't understand like why you want to do a podcast or who's actually listening to the podcast. But um, what people don't realize is that I don't live to please them. I only live to please God. So um, you just have to have tough skin when you're doing things for God, because you, if you start to listen to what everybody says, then you'll never accomplish the things that God has called you to do. And so as long as I remember to put God first, I'll continue to do the podcast and do the best that I can on the podcast. Um, but I give him all the glory because this is not something that um, I would have wanted to do. It's just something that I got to do and I'm going to do it. And I I do enjoy it. I love the feedback. I love when people tell me that, you know, they're encouraged by what I said. And, um, you know, just I'm just happy to be able to share some experiences with you all because we all are going through different things. And sometimes it's good to listen to podcasts. They kind of help me when I'm going through things. I listen to podcasts as well, not just, you know, my own, but other people's because it gives me encouragement and it it pushes me and um, I'm the type of person that don't really listen to the radio so podcasts are excellent for me so today I wanted to talk about the name of this the name or the title of this particular episode is God are we going to am I going the right way and I asked that um, and I don't know if you all have asked that question as well but it seems like you know when you get um, a prophecy or you get something from God or you hear from the Holy Spirit and he tells you that something you're going to get something or something's going to go a certain way or basically you know the end result like you know that you're going to have um, let's just say you're opening up a business and you know you're going to have a building um, but then it seems like everything that you thought that or the way that you thought you would get it is not going that way so what I mean is you might think that you're supposed to have something or God did tell you through a prophecy that you'll have something and then everything is going a total different way and you're like wait a minute I thought I was gonna have this or I thought I was gonna have that why am I ending up this way or why is it so hard for me or why do it feel like I'm broke right now if I'm supposed to have a million dollars or why do it feel like you say I'm going to have um, a baby, but I'm still having complications and I'm hurting. Or you said that I would have, um, I'm just trying to think of different things. Like, you you know, just whenever we feel like things are supposed to go one way, but they're going a whole nother way, we tend to question God or we get confused or we just feel like we're not going to have it anymore because it's not happening the way that we think that it should happen. So I wanted to talk about that because that was a season that I was in for the longest time, especially when um, we were searching for the house and um, just other things like just even in my hair business, me just wanting 
to have a whole lot of clients, but then it seems like I'm getting a lot of cancellations that week or, you know, just things that seem that it's supposed to go one way, but it just seems the total opposite. Um, that is exactly how the Israelites felt um, back in Exodus. So I've been reading a lot of Exodus, Exodus lately because I've been, you know, seeking God for guidance on, you know, the new business ventures or the new ways that he wants me to do my business or just guidance on life in general because I just don't no longer want to live in a space where I'm doing all these things on my own strength or trying to do everything on my own without seeking God first. I really want to live out Matthew 6.33 where you seek the kingdom of God above all else. So that is my goal. That is what I've been working toward. And so as I've been seeking God for guidance, um, I've been in Exodus because, you know, many of you may know already, if you don't know, Moses, you know, led the people out of Egypt. You know, he led them away from Pharaoh, but Pharaoh had a very, very hard heart. And basically, um, the particular scriptures that I'm, I've been reading, uh, is Exodus 13 and the verses 17 through 18. That's what I'm talking about specifically for today. Um, so as I was reading it, uh, I got a revelation because it basically was talking about how Pharaoh, you know, he finally let the people go, but when he let them go, God took them the longer route instead of the shorter route to the promised land. And that sounds like what I was talking about earlier, where you think that, okay, so if I can, if I'm supposed to have this building, all I should be able to do is just go to the place, talk to the people that own it, or um, talk to the bank, just get the loan, go get the building. Boom. Boom easy, easy enough. Right. But no, I got to lose this. I got to go through this. I got to lose clients. I got to gain clients. I got to, it's like a lot of times we don't understand it, but God knows exactly what he's doing. He knows the beginning and he also knows the end. Sometimes he reroutes us because there's some things that he still got to work on us. You know, maybe our character needs to be built more. Maybe our skin needs to be a little tough. Maybe our money management needs to be better. Maybe it's just not the season for a building because we're in a pandemic. Or maybe you can get the building through the pandemic and he's going to sustain you because he knows that you can handle it. So at the end of the day, what I'm basically trying to say is that God is the know-all. He knows everything. And so he knows the proper way to take you. And he knows what you still need to work on in yourself. So... Um, by God taking the Israelites through the longer route, he wanted to build their character because I don't know if you remember, but if you read this story of the Exodus uh, of Moses and Aaron and how he led the people to the promised land, um, you'll see that they complained a lot, that they were just always complaining about something or um, they was in a very, very tough position because they were slaves and they were in Egypt. And then God released them from that through Moses and they complained to Moses the whole entire time. And he was only doing his job. He was only doing what God told him to do. Um, he didn't even want that job, but God saw fit for him to do it. That's revelation in itself. Many of us don't even realize that we're doing things we not even we didn't even want to do, but God called us to it and we're good at it. Um, so I just, I really, really loved these particular uh scriptures. So I'm going to read it real fast, but it's Exodus 13 verse 17 and 18. And it says, when Pharaoh finally let the people go, God did not lead them along the main road that runs through Philistine territory. Even though that was the shortest route to the promised land, God said, if the people are faced with a battle, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led them in a roundabout way through the wilderness toward the Red Sea. Thus, the Israelites left Egypt like an army ready for battle. So that was so good because God took them the longer way to help them avoid a battle. So they didn't even realize that if they would have went the shorter way, they would have went through the Philistine territory and the Philistines um, would have wanted to fight them. It would have been a battle and 
it would have been rough for them. I mean, they already leaving out of Egypt where they were slaves and they were treated badly by Pharaoh and all of that. So to take them from that through a shorter route to hurry up and go through a battle, many of them would have changed their minds and would have wanted to go back. They would have wanted to go back to Egypt, which, you know, eventually some of them did want to go back because once you get used to a certain condition, it's like you can't even look forward sometimes to the better conditions um, because all you feel like is that it gets worse before it gets better but if we trust God if we completely trust him you know then we'll understand that he's never going to take us through something that we don't need to go through and a lot of times we need to go through the tough times we need to go through things like that because they build our character and they also help us build trust in God which is the ultimate goal so God doesn't always work in a way that, that seems best for us. Um, I learned that too. Um, he helped them avoid the fight. And also one thing that we need to understand is that um, complaining about whatever God is doing for us or whatever way he's taking us is not going to help us. Resisting it is not going to help us either. Um, because at the end of the day, if we really truly want God's um, will for our lives, then we'll go through whatever it takes to get to whatever God has us for. Remember, we're on borrowed time. We're not even really here for our own good. We're here for God's purposes. We're here on a mission. Whatever God has you here for, it's a mission. And it's a purpose for that. So um, don't complain and don't resist. Follow God willingly and trust him to lead you safely around unseen obstacles. I wrote that down because... I got it out of the notes section of the um, applica the study application Bible that I read from. And I just thought that was so good because we all face unseen obstacles. We don't know everything. We don't know all that's going to happen to us. We don't even know all the things that God has kept us from. But we should be grateful that we have a Father in heaven that knows the beginning and the end. He knows everything that we're going to face and he protects us daily. Um, we should just be thanking God just for that today about the things that he kept us from, the things we thought we wanted, but he gave us something better. And it's not always easy to see it that way. But if you really, really, like I said, want to be in God's will, if it's really God's will and not your own, then you'll see it that way. And you'll be grateful for the things that he's kept you from and just grateful for the things that he's taking you to that you don't even know. So. That was really good when I saw unseen obstacles because that's exactly what happens in life. Um, he could see the end. He also knows what's best for us. Um, so I just thought that that was really, really good to talk about today. I felt like um, it needed to be said because I know that, like I said, I've been in a space and sometimes I'm still in that space where I'm just like, okay, God, is this the right way? Well, I mean, what are we doing? So you said that I was going to have this. I was going to have that, but why does it seem to get tough? Why does it seem to be so hard or difficult? Why have I not gotten the prophecy that you said that I would have? Why has it been three years since I got that word and I still don't have it? Why has it been five years and I still don't have it or 10 years? Or why was it yesterday and I don't have it today? You know, we're always wanting what God wants for us but at the same time we don't want to go through what God needs to take us through to get it and that's the most important part because God knows the things that we need to work on we're constantly praying about um, the things that we need or the things that um, we want or the things that we feel like we deserve but God knows exactly what we need he knows when we need it and what we need and so I challenge you all today um, to just trust God, trust him completely with your heart and trust him completely with everything in your life, no matter how it feels, no matter what it looks like, no matter if you feel like you're going the long way or the short way, whatever it is, we just got to trust him. I'm challenging myself to do the same, but we have to do it. We have to get in the mindset of like Jesus, just trusting God no matter what. You know, what, no matter what it looks like. So I hope that this encouraged you today. Um, no matter where you are in life, just 
continue to trust God with his plans for us. I love you all and until